What's up, YouTubians? Gary with VW Jawbreaker. Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a really gloomy, rainy day. So I think we're not going to do too much on the 60. However, we've got a different style of project that we need to work on. So as soon as the rain stops... Oh yeah, look at that. Rainy day. Blah. Ah. So as soon as that slows down, we'll, uh, we'll get Jawbreaker out, cover the 60 up a little bit, and I'll show you what the new project is. It'll be a short series, nothing a whole lot to it. Who knows, I might throw it all into one video over the next couple weeks. We'll see what happens. Stay tuned. It's going to be cool. Well, there it is guys new little project what the heck are we doing with this guys it's simple having <laughs> now all four of us and the dog going camping I'm running out of room so I got this cheap little Harbor Freight trailer free score can't beat free we're gonna turn it into the little ultimate camping rig if you will so we're going to do it in a couple different phases phase one is make it usable the tires are shot the rims are rusted all the paints flaking off i mean it's just surface rust lights are shot this thing needs a lot of help um we're gonna go through we're gonna ridge this thing up some take these wheels off that keep getting stuck phase one we're going to get rid of the little tires and put the 12 inch tires on keep it the four lug for now uh you know these things are a bolt together so these are very flimsy we're going to go through make sure it's true and straight then we're going to go ahead and buzz all these corners real good with the welder just to help make it a little more solid um and then from there we're going to go ahead and new wheel bearings new lights new sheet of plywood on top we're gonna make this thing usable and then I've also got a really cool car uh, one of those rooftop uh, luggage carriers we're gonna stick on it and then we should be able to have room to put a bike cooler possibly even the mini bike on here so that'll make it nice phase two and possibly phase three we can't talk about yet That'll definitely be later down the road. Anyway, enough jibber jabber. We got a lot of work to do. I'm just gonna time lapse it and you guys can watch me get some work done. Let's get at it. Section right here that bolts on and pivots. 
take that off so we can flip it upside down and work on it. Uh, we'll go ahead and unbolt the tongue, get that out of the way, and we'll continue on. got the tongue over there, front section here with the axle on it, rip the fenders off, cut the back brackets off, which had the little bars on it, so you could stand it up and wheel it around. Then we have the rear section, lights are stripped off, so for the most part now, got to go through and cut off all these bolts that used to hold the plywood on because those are all rusted up. So we'll get all those cut off all the way around. And then we should be about ready to start really working on this thing. Get a wire wheeled down, cleaned up. I don't see anything structurally wrong yet. Just some severely pitted in some areas, but that's why we're gonna Everything's, I mean, it's not a high quality, it's not really a high quality trailer. So they all, all the metal pretty much flexes the same as what I'm trying to say. It all kind of has the same amount of give. There's nothing that seems to be too overly compromised than anything else. This is also temporary. Not a whole lot of money going into this thing. I got a lot of the stuff laying around except for the plywood and the tires. That's really about it. Everything else is here. So let's just continue working and get her done. Well, what can I say? More rain, thundering pretty good now. Apparently it's just gonna be one of those days. So I'm getting done what I can get done. It's all right. We've made progress. We've got the front half sitting here, fenders off, tongue off, rear section off. We're gonna start on this section first. We're gonna grind down as much as we can, strip a lot of the paint, wire wheel the inside, get this section prepped for paint. And then from that point, we're gonna go ahead and start working on the tongue and the rear section, get all that stuff prepped for paint. Once that's done, 
we can continue on with the build. For now, rain, <laughs> lightning, thunder, it's time for a break. I'll catch you guys in a little bit. couple mishaps today but went ahead and got this section cleaned up at least I taped off the spindles put the nut on it so moving around I wouldn't actually ding up the spindle ruin the threads so we got both sides painted at least for this section and then we'll go ahead basically we still got the entire rest of the front frame to do but it's hard to kind of get that stuff with the wheels on. So I figured let's go ahead and take the wheels off. Uh, speaking of that, I don't think these bearings have ever been serviced. It's almost dry as a bone inside. Uh, we got some numbers on there, so we'll go ahead and cross those numbers. We're gonna get some new bearings ordered. We got plenty of grease. Let's go ahead and do this thing upright. And update, still raining. Poor jawbreaker still out there getting soaked. Yeah, it won't hurt her. Little rain will do her good. What a day.
Well, guys, I think we're going to split this up into two videos. So thanks for sticking around. Um, pretty much got most everything ready to go to reassemble. We'll just wait on some parts. So as soon as some parts come in, we'll go ahead and get this thing finished up on the next video. So I appreciate you sticking around. Thanks for checking it out. Be kind to one another and be good.